Welcome back guys, this is Srikanth. Today we are going to talk about default major in SSAS. Okay, so why uh, why default major need to understand and how to change the default major value? I'm going to show you. So to understand this uh, default major, we need to go to the project. So we have a project called as a YouTube and we created it in our last session. So this is just continuation of that video. Just want to give some recap for the new one who are new to this video. We added data sources here so the youtube uh, space ssh is my data source and out uh, and on the top of that i create a data source view this is the one data source view and based on the data source view i created three dimension because we have three dimension table the first dimension themselves and the, this is the third dimension right and fact several is basically the center one okay so these are the t three dimension and we added that one let's see how many column right we added two column from this dimension to two column from this to we call it as an attribute okay so we have this many attribute with this now now we are going to the browser and what i'm going to show you here just simply click double click on the cube then go to the browser and just see the value so basically I have two majors I am just dragging and dropping here the, this is the sales amount the second one is the sales discount okay so I can see sales discount is 320 and the sales amount is 1110 11,000 okay so I can see here sales amount is my first major sales discount is my second and these three are the dimension okay now I am going to SSMS and there I am going to connect the S uh, through the SS uh, through the analysis services engine so this is analysis services engine then this is my server clicking on ok and got connected to the analysis services now here what I am going to do I am going to write one small MDX query here so you need to click on a new query fine now what i am going to do i am going to uh, basically this you this ui is same like the existing one so i am just taking this column and uh, and showing you here so but here instead of doing that let's say i want to i want to get the data from the major so i want to write a, some kind of a select query let's try to write that Right there. So you need to take a cube actually here and let's execute it. See the moment we'll execute this query we'll get the error. The error is something like the error the you do not have permission or something like that, right? But this is but remember this is not the TSQL, this is MDX. Now let's try to convert this query into MDX so it will run. Now this is my simple query. I don't need to use the star actually here. I simply need to use from clause and in the from I need to pass the queue and the select so if I don't pass anything here and let's execute it what will happen see I got a value actually and the value is equal to 11100 but the interesting thing is that why I got the value equal to the 11,000 right I should get the value in, I should I should get the value 320 right but why it is not like that so this is happen the reason is basically default major so whenever you don't define any uh, default major for the SSAS, then MDX will take its first major, right? Okay. So if I want to change this default major to the sales discount, how I could I could do that? Can I do that? Yeah, you can. So what you need to do, you need to simply double click here. You need to click on your cube. Then you need to go to the properties. And here you need to select the default major option. Here the default major is blank actually, right? So it will take the first one. So if I'm going to change the default to the sales discount. Okay, perfect. Then save this and process the queue. And remember one thing: until you process the queue, it won't be reflected there. Let's try to show you. Well, now I'm running the same query. What will happen actually? See, I'm getting the old value 1100. Now I'm going back to the uh, data tool and again going to deploy. 
methods this is deploy made is in uh, progress so so deployment completed successfully okay now let's go back here and let's see what will happen see 320 is there correct now the same the two minute ago the same query which I was running and it was giving me the output as the eleven hundred and this and after some time after changing the property to default major I'm getting the three twenty right so this is called as a default major again I want to revert back how I can do that simply you need to come here and you need to go to the properties. Here we have set the discount, then you just remove to the sales amount, right? Again, save it. Process the queue. We are processing the queue. Okay. Then run and just refresh the queue. Data will be refreshed. Okay. Now, let's come back to here and again rerun the query. We will now get the 11,000, right? So, this is simply the default measure. This is very interesting when we work on the exercise. Hope you enjoyed our uh, video related with the uh, default major. And thanks for watching and have a great day ahead. If you really like our video, please for, don't forget to share and subscribe with your friend. They, they will also help you understand the SSS. In coming video, I am going to talk about the uh, MDX query. That is a multi-dimensional query. How we can write the MDX query how we can understand in this way so let's try to understand parallelly okay. thank you so much